Nida, well, one thing it is, it's not has nothing to do with men. Nida is a Hebrew word for menstruation, unclean, impurity, menstruation. First, I'm going to bore you for the first half hour. So the first half hour is going to be boring. Then after the first half hour, you're going to get excited. Some of you are already excited, which is total. Well, that's not worth that. You're already fired up, which is tough. I want to welcome all our subscribers on the YouTube channel. You don't pay nothing for your subscription. I'm calling by faith those things that are not as if they were. Amen. Matter of fact, don't give me any ideas. Uh -oh. Baruch Hashem, Yahoo. 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 I know Willie's ready because as soon as I started preaching, I got a big, big smile. And I know he wasn't laughing at me, at least not during the service, so I had to be happy. Uh, receiving the word of Yahuwah. Chris never smiles, so you can forget about him. Plus, he's just drinking coffee. Because he's too serious to smile. I think I just put my foot in something. So let me get out of it real quick. Nida is uncleanliness, impurity, or menstruation for the ladies, not for the men. Can I see a show of hands? How many men have had, haven't had a period for a couple months? <laughs> Rest of you have. Now Willie's really smiling. Whoa, the humor. I got the you gotta use the humor when I can. It, it wins all the time. Alright. Alright. Daryl he's 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 listening to this message on the outer court. Just, just in case he can't handle it. <laughs> Some people just not good handling blood, you know, how it goes like the sight of blood, whether it's human blood or vampire blood. Kind of spooks. I'm so Nida <laughs> is a sexual separation, the result of Nida. I'm going to bore you for a half hour and then I'll get excited on you. Nida is a time of se separation during a woman's <clears throat> monthly menstrual cycle. Referred to in scripture as the days of her sickness or the days of separation. Now some of you ladies, to be honest, I always knew you were sick. In more than one way. Now, let's be honest, because women, they know how to press your buttons. <laughs> but we're not, not going to make fun of you. We're not going to talk about the sickness. We're going to talk about the blood stuff, the, men, the, the menstrual cycle. Okay? I'll be honest with you. And when it comes to women, I can't live with them and I can't live without them. And you ladies probably feel the same way about us, right? Amen. 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 Yahoo. If we can just get rid of the fire down below, we can live with them. <laughs> the fire but when it comes to to the green stuff, we need the green stuff as ladies. We need the green stuff, and we, and we you know we, we have the fire down below. So this is why we need men. Otherwise, who needs men? Now, if a woman has an issue of blood, and her issue is in her flesh, like go with me to Vayikra. Let, let's just go there. Vayikra fifteen nineteen. By you crowd, fifteen nineteen. I'm glad we're not a church where we can't talk about these things. This is the kind of message you'd never hear in a church. Okay, and a message what they what you would hear is he loves you. He loves you. I know he loves me, but I'm here to learn how much he loves me and in what ways. But I can't because he loves you. Uh -huh. Vayikra 15, 19. Mm -hmm. If a woman has a discharge, of course, talking about her nida, her separation, because of her bleeding, her monthly cycle, and in her discharge of her flesh shall be found dam, blood, she shall be separated seven days. Circle those words, seven days. Whoever touches her shall be unclean until the evening. So the evening to evening camp, uses this as a proof text that the day begins at the evening, not the sunrise. Many other texts, evening, she's unclean not till sunrise, but she's unclean. So we'll never settle, we're never going to settle that dispute. We love everybody. Sunrisers and moonrisers who begin the day in the evening. We love everybody, I think. And everything, verse 20, that she lies upon in her separation shall be unclean. Everything also that she sits upon shall be unclean. So the first sign of the menstrual, let me put this here, the first sign 
of the menstrual blood is discharged, a woman is to count how many days? Sheva Yamim. And then she will once again be considered Tahor or clean. Pretty simple. Until we get involved with rabbinic Judaism and oral tradition. Now, with rabbinic Judaism and oral tradition, that has changed these verses to say that she is not unclean for seven days without a menstrual flow. They say, according to the rabbinic accounts, assuming the menstrual flow lasts for five days, the women must count seven days additional after they are clean and considered to be clean, they must count an additional seven days making the total time of separation 12 days to 14 days, assuming the, the five days is when the menstrual flow ends. So if the menstrual flow ends for five days, you add another seven days, so a minimum of 12 days, according to the rabbis, where a woman, or especially a wife, must be separated from her husband. You talk about plural marriage. Can you imagine men not being with your wife? for two weeks every month when Yahuwah only says five days. Yahuwah's Torah is easy. Yahuwah's Torah is not a bird. They took five days and turned it into 12. And if a man is normal and has a pulse as a husband, that's quite difficult. Okay? And the people who teach this are driving men into an option of plural marriage. That's an option. Can I get a witness? Mm. <coughs> we'll talk a little bit more about that later. So tradition demands that she has a mikvah, a water immersion, before resuming her sexual relations with her husband. Mm -hmm. But counting seven days and concluding the seven days with a mikvah, a ritual bath of water, are not commanded in scripture. Were later traditions that were added by the not-so-sages. The truth is a woman's normal period of separation each month only lasts, we just read it, by Yikra 15, 19, how many days? Seven, seven days. days. Siete dias. dias. Seven days. The length of the monthly separation is verified elsewhere. We'll see that in, in, the, in the discussion on childbirth. Go with me to Vayikra 12. Vayikra 12. Again, this message, Nida, separation due to menstrual flow. Prophecy and Shabbat. Nida, prophecy and Shabbat. Vayikra 12. Vayikra 12. And 2 through 4. Vayikra 12, 2 through 4. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, say, If a woman has conceived and is born a male child, then shall she be unclean seven days. As in the days of her monthly separation, her nida, for her infirmity, she shall be unclean. And in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall receive brit milah. Then she shall shall she shall then continue in the dam the blood of her purifying 33 more days she shall touch no kadosh thing nor come into the kadosh place until the time of her purification is over this is the law for a male child seven days plus 33. Notice the normal, this is a second witness, turn to your neighbor and say, second witness. Second witness. That's no good, let's try that side of the room. Second witness. Second witness. Not good either. Where do I turn now? Second witness. Second witness. Second witness. That's, that's better. This is now a second witness that the normal time of a woman's menstrual sickness is seven days. We have a witness in Vayikra 15, and we have a witness in Vayikra 12. Two witnesses, seven days. Note the normal time is seven days plus the obligation for a man child plus the obligate or the obligation for a female child. Now what happens if a woman has an abnormal nida, blood flow, beyond seven days? That is a special case. 
Go to with me to Vayikra, 1525.